Hey guys, it's Jen from iCreateCrafts. In today's video, I will be showing you step by step how to create these buzzed, lit, toasted, and hammered wine glasses. These were quite fun and easy to create, and I will leave all of my supplies listed in the description below. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and leave me a thumbs up if you love this video. Now let's get started. Alright guys, this is going to be a very quick and easy video tutorial for you. I'm making wine glasses using these four files here. So the only thing you have to do with these files is change the size and the color if you want. So the only thing I'm going to do is change the size. So I know my wine glasses, I bought them from the dollar store. Mine are going to be three by three uh, files. So I have the first one selected. I'm going to go up to the unlock box up here and then I'm just going to change this to be three by three. I don't know why I did that. There we go. Three by three. So I'm going to do the next one, unlock it, and then just change it to be three by three, and then the next one, and whatever size your wine glass is, but this is the size that I am going for, and it works out perfectly for me for the glasses that I have. I've already done a few of these. So now if you want to change the color, you can change the color. I'm actually just going to duplicate this so I have two sets, so I'm going to select all of them, and I'm going to go up here to the duplicate button, and it's going to give me a whole separate set here. So I'm going to have this one selected. I'm going to change the color just to this pink color because this first one is going to cut out in white. And then the second one is going to cut out in a holographic color um, vinyl. And I really love how it looks. So I'm not going to bother changing this one to white because I know that's what it's going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and click make it. And because my project is a little bit larger, it's just telling me it's going to take a minute. So here are your files that you have. I am just like to move them over just slightly that I can get my scissors in between each one of them. Um, but this is it. You don't have to do anything else to it. I'm going to go ahead and move this pink one as well just a little bit just to get the scissors in between. This doesn't, you don't have to do that. And I'm going to click continue. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to show you which setting I use. Um, I don't use a lot of Cricut brand. I just buy whatever the off brand is on Amazon. I'll leave the link below to the ones that I use and the holographic one that I'm using. I've used this holographic vinyl and I absolutely love it. And I think it turned out amazing. So I'm just going to show you quick here. So I just use this stencil vinyl one right here. So you want to click on that one. Make sure you have a nice fine point blade in that is nice and sharp. Put your vinyl on your mat. I'm just using a green mat. I'm going to cut this out. I'll weed it out and then I'll show you the next step of putting it onto your cups. All right, so I have my files cut out. Here's the hammered one, the buzzed one, and the lit one. And then I already put on this one, the toasted, to show you what it would look like. So it's just like this. And I'm just using dollar store wine glasses. And if you can see it over here, I bought a case of 12 um, because these are going to be a pack of four each. So this is one that's done that says hammered on it. And um, I use the holographic vinyl, and I absolutely love the holographic vinyl. I think it looks so cool. So I did all four of those. And I'm just going to show you, it's kind of self explanatory, but I'm going to show you really quick how to do these. So you just want to take a cotton ball or something to put some alcohol on it. You want to rub it and make sure it's nice and clean in the area that you're going to be doing it. So just take it and just wash it really well. And then let it sit for, you know, 20 seconds or so because you've got to let it dry before you put your vinyl on. So I'm just going to let that one sit. I already cleaned this one. So the next part you want to do is take a piece of transfer tape. And I'm just using just regular contact paper. And you want to peel it off. I'm going to use the bigger one for now and show you. So I'm going to use the hammered one. Whoops. And you just want to put it on. I'm not get any air bubbles or anything in it. Sorry about that. Move it back up. And then take your squeegee and rub it in really well so that your vinyl sticks to your contact paper. And then I always like to work upside down to make sure I get all my file off. And then just peel it back. Perfect. And then it's kind of difficult with these because they're larger on the bottom and then they get smaller at the top. So I kind of got to look at it. I kind of gauge at the bottom to make sure where the hammered part goes, where the words go, so they go nice and straight. So I kind of just lay it on gently and then just kind of look to make sure. And sometimes it's easier if you give it your transfer tape just a little bit of cuts so that it can go around your piece easier because this is such a large word 
and it's curved at the bottom, you kind of got to work with it. So just take your time here. I should have started with an easier one, um, but this is the larger one, so it's going to take a little bit longer. But once you get it straight in the middle, actually, you know what, guys? I'm actually going to take the hammer part off because it's going to lay on here a lot easier. So I'm going to work with that one in a little bit. So now I'm going to work with just the bottom piece. Just going to make it so much easier to get this on straight. And when you do this, you'll know what I mean. Because like I said, at the bottom, it does curve a little bit. So I'm trying to make it nice and even. There. So once you get it on, you just want to take your fingers and push it on really hard to make sure that your vinyl is going to stick to your glass. So once you get it on, you just want to peel back nice and slow. Whoops. If you miss anything, you just go back and push it back on. I'm using 651, so this is the permanent vinyl. So it will stick, but it just takes, you know, a little while for it to hear completely. And if you have any bubbles, like right here, you can work with your fingers and try to get it out. I hear people say they use like pins or something and kind of push a pin in it, but I don't like doing that. I just kind of like to feel it out if I can. And unfortunately, with my transfer tape, I've been noticing a lot lately that I get this residue on here. So you could just go back with your cotton ball and then just lightly go over it. If you have any residue or anything on here, I don't know what's going on with this that I bought, but for whatever reason. So there, just like that. So now I have to put the hammer part on. Whoops getting caught up in all my stuff here and just place this on kind of wherever in the center part here and then just do the same thing just push it down so again it's more self-explanatory how to put these on but I thought they were cute and I wanted to show you guys how to do it where to get the file and how to put one on so just like that and now I can reuse my transfer tape so here's the hammered one and you can see it's kind of difficult at the bottom. You'll see when you get your own cups that it's kind of really thick down here and then it gets smaller up here as you go up. So you gotta be careful with that when you put this on, but I really love how these turned out. Oh, and then also I made these little cheat sheets, I guess. Um, I cut it out to look like a wine glass. It says care instructions, hand wash only, not, micro not, not microwave safe, not dishwasher safe, and do not soak. Thank you. So here I can show you a little bit. So these were really easy to do. I got the instructions off of, it was either Etsy or Design Space, and then I just found a um, wine glass on uh, Google and I put it into Design Space. And so it cut this out and then it printed this part out. So it was very easy to do. I think it's just something nice to do that if somebody buys it and they forget or they give it as a gift, hey, I'm not supposed to wash this or throw it in the dishwasher, that that was just an extra nice step. So. If you like these, if you like this tutorial, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please let me know. I will leave all my stuff in the description below that I used. Uh, like I said, I used dollar store uh, wine glasses and some 651 vinyl. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Please hit that subscribe button if you're not already. I had so much fun with this video. I created many more of these funny wine glasses to sell at the local stores I have my items in. And I'll also be taking some of these with me to the craft fairs I will be selling at. I hope you learned something new and will create your own funny wine glasses. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Happy crafting everyone!